Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to register your music, when to register it and in what order? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro! What's up, it's a boy Scale from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to my channel where I share information with my fellow South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing as I do have other videos I think you'll find informative. In this episode, I plan on showing you exactly how to go about registering your music and your songs as you're about to release them. I'm gonna show you step by step because I am releasing my own song title, Release Me, on the 30th of July, so I decided, let me document document the process and share it with people that need help to go about registering their work. This video is going to be fairly lengthy, so please do watch all the way to the end or you might miss a few minor details that I've added in each of the CMOs, organizations that collect your royalties on their specific notification of works. So this is basically gonna cover the notification of works for Samro, Capasso, Sampra. Hope you enjoy this video. The first thing you want to do for your release is to sort out all the metadata of your song. So I've basically exported all the songs already. Um, I've got MP3 formats because one is for radio and then one is if I want to send the song via WhatsApp or something. I made sure that the size was less than five megabytes, especially for the radio version, because radio stations, especially the SABC ones, the emails bounce if the file size or the email that you sent to them is bigger than five megabytes. So you want to have an MP3 version that's smaller than five megabytes. And then these are the alternative versions, all the versions of the song. So the original, this is the main version of the song. I keep as much information in the title as possible because the song I feel can also work in other forms of media, not just for radio or being distributed on Spotify, etc. So I have five official versions, six official versions. So now you want to collect all the metadata for the song. So I've already filled it out. There's two versions that will be sent to radio that will be collecting separately and I'll be distributing separately. So release me is the original, that's the original version. And then there'll be an acoustic version, which I'll also cut, distribute probably 15 days later just for marketing purposes. So I have to have a separate line for it. Okay. In the metadata sheet that you have created yourself, it's basically you want the track number. If it's part of an album, you want the name of the song, you want the duration, the artist name, which is Skill Music Essay, that's how I distribute. And then you basically want to put in the composers of the song. So composer one is me, myself, and in brackets, I put how much of the song that I own. So I own 100%. If I had another producer or someone else composing, I'd add them in separately. But since I don't, I don't include them. Over here is a bracket for your IPI number. I forgot why I put XX there. Oh, yeah, I didn't want my IPI number available. <laughs> okay. And then the year is 2020 and then i've already allocated my isrc code this is one two three so i've released 123 songs so far this year and then over here is a samra work number this number you get from the portal and then i'll be doing this as well in this video the genres are put in bmp is the tempo of the song you want to put that in those are the main ones that you want in. so let's go over it. you want the song name you want the duration, you want the artist name if it's being released under another artist name, you want the composers involved, you want the IPI numbers, you want the year, and you want the ISRC code, you basically want the genre name, and then you also want to include the Samro work number, and then the B, the BMP, the BPM, sorry. <laughs> That's the tempo of the song. So I've got the information already folded out so I wouldn't bore you in this video. So the very first thing you're going to do now is going to head over to the Samro portal. I'm going to register everything with Samro first. Uh, wrong one here. Portal. So you go to portal.samro.org.za. Um, this video might be long, so I'm going to try to go a little quick. <laughs> as quick as the internet lets me. So you sign in. So now I'm registering the composition of the song. Okay. So remember, I have several versions of the song that I showed you in my folder. So I want to make a new notification, new notification, and then assignment music. It's going to be a commercial music, not commercial. Sorry, no assignment music as it's not assigned to anything. The overall name of the song is called "Release Me," and then the duration of the time. It's two minutes twenty-three seconds, twenty-eight seconds. Sorry, 
I really don't like the way you have to put in time. So the reason you filled it in here is that you don't have to open the song manually. You got the duration over there. Two minutes, 28 seconds. So in subtitle, I have several names for the same song. So I want to put all the variations of the names for the song. Okay, so in subtitle, I'm going to put release me. Um, let me go to my folder. So you see the several names. So there's this version. Now, if you're going to use alternative names, the song, the composition has to be basically identical. So you can't put a totally different name to the song. So for all intents and purposes, this one, I'm going to register now the original. Uh, put it in like that. That's an alternative name. Okay. Basically, the composition for the acoustic version that I already have is also very similar. The duration is the same. And for all intents and purposes, you can include it within the same name. But it also depends if you'll be collecting. Like sometimes if you're submitting your music for different um, applications, you might want to keep the alternative name separate. But for my purposes, I'm going to keep it the same. Uh, no, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave that out for now. But that's the name. That's the alternative name. So I'm going to move forward. Okay. The song has music and text because there are lyrics. And then the song is a popular song. And then you have to find your genre. So if R&B is not sure, I'm going to put hip hop. Because I do have some bars that I drop on that one. Hip hop, yeah. And then the performer name is Skill Music SA. Go next. Okay, I'm the author. Ugh. Since I made the beat and I'm the author, I put composer slash author. If it was just me bars, I'll put author. If I just made the beat, I'll put composer, but I did both. And for that purpose, I can put 100% in there. Add notification. And then click the next step. Instrumentation, I usually leave out because I've got a lot that I have to notify. And then you move on. Okay. Then you go next. Okay. Release me and the original version has been registered. So now for all intents and purposes, I have to also add the other ones, so the alternative names. So I'm going to add another notification and then I'm going to put in release me acoustic, acoustic version. Okay. The duration is also the same. I really dislike this way of putting in time at Samuel, this portal. Okay, and then I want to put in the alternative name that I've assigned for the song. Add subtitle. That's it. Um, okay, and then music and text because it's acoustic, popular, hip hop, skill, music, SA. Next step composer, author going faster right now because I don't have to explain what I'm doing and then I skip out the instrumentation because that's tedious to it next and then I also want to put it in the radio version because it is slightly different so we put in release release me and you put radio version for all intents and purposes, actually, you can include it as subtitles, but the problem is my radio version is slightly shorter. And Samuel, um, uh, I forgot to write the time for that one. That one is 2 minutes 21 seconds. And Samuel works on time when they give out royalties. So I don't want to have discrepancy between the radio version and what they're actually seeing. Release me. That's the only version. Ah, let me actually add. No, I'm not going to add an alternative music, popular, hip hop, skill, alternative name, subtitle. So, okay. And composer, put it in again, 100. Make sure when you're putting in multiple titles that you change this all the time because it'll pop out a message if you don't. So additional instrument, nothing in there. Title of the summary, nothing. Okay, next. So I've registered three versions i'm going to not register the other alternative versions because i'm going to collectively just make them as one as alternative versions um actually let me 
no i'm not gonna do it now so then you make sure you click here submit gonna take some time you successfully submitted so samro done then it's going to pop you over here to the registration number you'll see the creation id is not there yet it's a w number with a bunch of numbers so since you don't have that yet you put this into your metadata sheet so in the metadata sheet i'm going to put it in here for both registration numbers um zero zero okay that's the work number so i usually put it in there it's not done yet one four three one two three okay so now moving on we've done samro so now we're going to move over to capasso generally when i do capasso's notification you go to the website and you click notification of works form it's going to click you to here and since i'm a composer download notification of works form and then you scroll down regularly send notification of works uh, They've updated this recently. You just notice that the website is still the same. I mean, the email address is still the same, but um, you basically scroll down to where you want to download the song. So this one, in terms of Capasso, any music produced that is being marketed directly to the public is commercial music. So for this intensive, for all intents and purposes for this video, I'm going to make it commercial music. There's a slight difference between commercial music and Capasso and commercial music on Samro. They mean different things. So make sure you're on the right track in terms of that. So I'm gonna open up Capasso, just making sure. Okay, they've slightly changed the notification of works form. So I'm gonna enable editing so I can go into the workbook and then I'm gonna start filling out. Um, I'm, not the, uh, I'm not gonna fill this out now because I don't want my ID to be public, really. 03, um, uh, July 2020. Okay, and then info at skillmusicsa.com. And that's my email address. Let me just change this format. Uh, date, 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 long date. Okay. And the time, the workbook, I try change. Okay, so this is how they pre-structure everything so you know how to go about it. So I'm gonna delete this. And I'm gonna delete these lines. I'm gonna make that, make sure it's also white. No racism, no racism intended for that one. Okay, song name is release, release me. The composer surname, Kula, composer name. And then you just fill out everything from left to right per line. And since I'm the only one in there, I get a hundred percent original publisher. And at the moment, I don't have an admin publisher, but I will eventually, I'll let them sort it out in the future. But for now, let me move on. And then you want to copy those ISRC codes from your sheet. You see, it's a lot easier to copy all the different information that each CMO needs if you have it all in one sheet. And then ISWC code, I do not have one assigned already. ISWC code is basically a code for the composition of all the songs that you have. So you can leave it out in terms of Capasso because you probably won't get it easily from Samro, but I did contact them and they said I could leave it out. So release me is the official one. And then there's an acoustic version for release me. Release acoustic version now the nice thing of if you're using an excel sheet you can copy this just drag it down make sure that that's still 100 and then there sort it with my notification of works for capacitor let me just make sure that this is not red anymore make it black and there it is notification of works done uh Okay, let me just save this somewhere. Uh, okay, let me just, I want to just put in my ID number on there. Okay, so I'm just going to export it. I've got it on another screen. So let me just save as 
Where must I save this thing now? Uh, basically, when you save it, you want to save it. Oh, I can actually show you this part now. Uh, basically, when you save it, you want to save it as... Wait, actually, it closes when you save. Something that you will be able to keep. Notification of works. And then you just put in hyphen release me. And then you want to put in a date. So you know, where as soon as you look at the file, that this is when you registered the song. Uh, I'm clicking save now. Where the heck did I save it now? Uh, sorry, I forgot where I saved it. Um, so I'm going to keep the file. Sorry, you can't see anything now. You're just seeing that frozen screen. But I just need to put this somewhere that makes sense. So basically, you want to try keep all the information together. So in terms of capacity, you have to have a notification of work. So you have to email it. So let me just close it up there. And then you official releases. There's the notification of works over there. So I'm just going to move it here because it doesn't belong in there. Uh, official releases. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it admin. Admin files. And then I'm going to move release me into there. So now when I send an email to Capasso, uh, Capasso, uh, it's notification at capasso.co.za notification of works for release me. And then I just simply send release the notification of works for Capasso exactly how I saved the file. I just drag and drop it. I say, do this may concern. Please see the attached notification of works. Regards. And then I click send. Make sure it's there. Then I click send. Capasso done. So now you move over to Sampra, the last place that you have to register your song. Now, I'm not going to go into detail why you have to register to each of the separate ones, but there's different royalties. So it, why I registered with Samro because it's performance royalties and I want those royalties. So I registered with Samro. You basically get performance royalties easily and with most types of use for your song. Capasso, I'm going to be getting streams. So I know those royalties are important to me. So I want to register with Capasso. And then in terms of Sampra, I will be pitching the acoustic version and the non-acoustic, the actual version to several radio stations. So the, the what you call it, the needle time royalties I want to collect. So now, members, member forms. I want to send the notification of work. So you go members, member forms, and then not download, but notification or downloadable. I want to do it online. So notification of recording performances form can tell that I don't make a lot of these, huh? Uh, okay. Oh, well, this is wrong. Uh, this is my Irish address. Mm. Uh, hold on, I have to put this in somewhere else. Can't keep that online now, can I? Uh, uh, I'm from Port Elizabeth. I'm gonna put it on here. If you put in your pseudonym name and then you put in your ID number, can't keep that up there either. And then my, my phone number. Okay. Basically, that needed some private information, so I had to move it over to everywhere else, somewhere else. So over here, you see it's a section A is a featured artist, other featured performer artist, and non-featured artist. So in terms of what information I'll be putting in, I'll be just putting in FA because the song is mine. So let me move over. So in section B, scare music essay, the name of the single title is Release Me. Numbers one. Record label in A because I don't have a record label. 2020s winner. The song will be released. And then you want to put in your IRSRC code. So you know this IRSRC code keeps on popping up. If you've noticed. This. Distro yourself. Well, 
for distributing company just say um self distributed on continue and then you want to name the performer skill music sa uh track number zero one and then track name is release me and then f a here for featured artist because i'm the featured artist and then that covers release me um i'm not going to put the acoustic and the variance because release me should cover it and then you click continue and then you simply sign away uh i don't want to sign where it's visible now do i yeah i'll be copying my signature and before i know it i've got some lawsuits <laughs> so let me just sign away here on the side it's very hard actually to sign and then you click on submit form once you've confirmed the signature and then you send it through it takes 21 days for them to go through your stuff and that basically concludes the paperwork that you have to get sorted out when you notify with samro Capasso, and sampra that concludes this video where i showed you exactly how to go about registering your music with samro sampra Capasso. i hope you found this video informative and if you did please hit the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell as it notifies you every time i release a video and i've got a whatsapp group i think that you might want to join especially because i send informative information to the people in that group and also tell them when i release a new video similar to this one but until next time skilligan the hooligan Peace out.